Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 with me. That's actually not how I normally do it, don't I? Anyway, welcome to Crusader Kings 2 with the Project Middle Earth mod. Um, I want to get this episode done by conquering this little piece of land here. Wait, how do we get you? I didn't know we had any prisoners. Ransom you. Ransom you. Give some intrigue. Why can I not ransom you? Why can I not sell you to your leash? Because it's a spider. You don't want her. Well, in that case, we don't want to keep an orc around. We'll execute the fuck out of her. Alright, that's done. Got a bit of money. Um, damn, it's expensive. Worth it though. Um, but, 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 I want to keep some money first. Um, well, basically because these um, claims are really expensive. Actually, we got some piety. We can start creating more stuff. Um, show Middle Earth, craft an item. Ah, uh, there's nothing for me to forge, so I just wasted everything. <laughs> Damn it! Good to know that you only can forge a weapon and a jewel. Too bad it doesn't give me back my fucking piety. Not that I need it for anything, but I still want my fucking piety back. Okay, that army is non existent. Why are we making more money than I'm expecting to make? No. No, we're not. We don't want the door holes. Don't really need that. Uh, let's go for the elite dwarven barracks. Actually, we should have gone for one of those. Anyway, um, let's see how are we in troops. Betrothed can marry. Good. And that's done. How old are you? Fifteen. Oh, you're actually doing some good... She's humble and charitable. You don't expect that from, you know, one of the North school. I'm raising my children pretty well. Uh, she's become an elusive inbred shadow. She's good at what she does. Well, I've got to thank... Um, sorry for bumping the mic. I've got to thank Sauron for that. He did, however, give her a quite a lot of other crap stuff. Fertility minus 30%. Inbred minus, she's got minus 60. Um, her intrigue is 8, but um, can I, why can I not kill her? She's incapable. Um, can we imprison her? Eh. We'll let her for what she is. She's not interesting. Let's see, can we get a. Nope. We cannot. We cannot. We need to. Perhaps. Let's just check around a little bit. Um, I'm surprised that you're still alive. How old is he? Three. How old is he? Three. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. wait. How the hell did you get. You remarried? No, oh, you remarried. Good for you. How about you? I'm just thinking about... They all rem are starting to remarry. You son of a bitches. Oh, so son of a bitch. Um, family. 97. Jesus Christ, this goes deep, actually. You have no kids. You have no kids. You will never have any kids. I don't will you. Seems the AI is at certain points because the age thing does not ensure. Actually, what we did seems to be something the AI does as well. Anyway, 
we're gonna arrange a marriage, actually a betrothal between my daughter and who do you've got? <laughs> no one. Actually, I think we're gonna take that opportunity to go to you. I'm gonna arrange. Why can I not talk to you? Ah, you're too distant. Damn it! I wanted to marry in some other kids. Let's see, do you have anything interesting? 20. Imposing. Let's see, what do you have for my, when I marry my daughter? He will not accept it because of too high in the line of succession. Yeah, well, go suck a monkey. You're not too high in the line of succession. You have got anything interesting arranged patrol with my daughter, maternal, matrili matrilineal. That's it. I might, I might not say maternal, but whatever. Um, actually, you're not bad. We're gonna lose a lot of prestige on this, but whatever. Whatever. Now, could we please get that territory acclaimed? I want it. Use it. Jesus, it's getting expensive. On the other hand, what did you get? What did you expect? It's just how it is. Life is difficult, man. 1800? Oh yeah! I think we just went past... Ah! Fuck! <sighs> I'm not angry, I'm not angry, I am... We're at 8,000 8, actually, we are improving quickly at 42 of 90. <laughs> oh my god! We actually... <laughs> because of my increasing in strength all the fucking time, we are seriously gaining a lot of strength. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. We can actually increase our strength also by creating, um... Wow, Mordor went to war, I guess? Yep. It's the initial lag bit. I've seen that happen for some time. Um... What you can do is increase some of your strength, is increase your feudal um, laws, that uh, your feudal levy laws, and start building more fortresses. These will be uh, underneath your vassals, so they don't count to your vassal or demise limit. It's a small trick you can do, but it requires your vassal to call in their vassal's troops. It's not a great way to do it, but it is a, it's, it's a way to do it. Uh, we're actually gonna need to colonize this little province first, I think. Just, you know, to humor our son. You know, be a little bit nice to him. Uh, I'm, I'm glad we fixed our little family problem. Do you have any children? Yes, you do have any children. I should really... Nope. Because I don't want to work with that. Okay, I should really keep an eye on my family. Um... Yeah, we should look elsewhere for that, I think. Um... She's still young, so that can... It's not a problem. 20, you don't get any. Okay, um, we're keeping a good eye on the family now. I think we should do it at least every video, at least once or so. So, let's... Come on, keep going. I don't want it to take forever. We're at 400 here. Another retreat point. Um, miniature barracks are built here. Okay, keep some building here. We got the money for the... Um, um, Colonization soon, anyway. There's some rebellions going on here. That's probably yup. A. These are culture swapping apparently slowly to orcish. At least I would presume they would go orcish. Actually, that is an interesting thing to check. I don't. I really don't know what the dominant culture is within. Um, 
Um, she's not legal age. She can be a skilled tactician. She can marry, so push through the marriage. Unpause if you want to. There we go. The final siege kick in here. Come on, one more tick. Gonna offer peace, enforce our demands. We are over our demise limit. I know, I know. We don't want to purge it. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You don't get it. Keep doing that. Colonize the province. We are already in the money. Chill Middle Earth decisions. Colonize under tower. Civilization shall rise from the ruins. We're gonna miss this little army here. And even if it fails, with the amount of money we are making, it will not be a problem. We're actually. Hmm. I was ex suspecting. This is actually a good region. It's to Tundra though. The Great East Road in it. Hmm. This is actually quite a profitable province. Three castles. My son is going to be happy with it. But I hope so. Now, we're going to need to invest a little bit of money in our son. Of course. Um, so that he does not run into the little problems. What is it called, actually? Under Tower. There you go! Be happy, will you? Now, you will, of course, run into fertility issues. Okay, I cannot help him with that. But he immediately gave it away. Okay. Then we are gonna do the... Inner fortifications if we got the money for it. Jesus Christ, garrison reinforcements are... Just taking forever. Surprises me slightly. Now I hope my son is happy with me. Does he like me? My long reign, by the way, is just really upping everything. He will be inevitably be my heir. Um, if you look at things, um, when I die, my, I think, technically, he, uh, okay, so he's going down the line, I was suspecting female heir, wait, that is not what I want, wait, somewhere down the line, this is going immediately wrong, you do not deserve to live, and I really need to get this plot up and working. So you can okay, be convinced by money, but you're the only one. And you need 100% plot power. Why doesn't everybody like her? It's a little bit of a dwarven problem, apparently, that everybody likes each other. It's annoying as fuck. Okay, so we're already building here. Let's get the militia barracks over here built. In about six months, we need enough money to fix the. Ah, uh, getting ill. It's not a good thing. We, uh, you know, we're not the most healthy individual anymore. And no, I don't want to give everything to my son just yet. I want that dwarves die off. They are only fertile for the amount of time humans are. And, um. They get about 250 years old in age. Not surprised that they died out. If you don't know, in, um, the law, um. Um. I think about the fourth age, the last orcs died. Uh, the start of fourth age, and I think there were only a few dwarves left. 
don't know exactly, but the dwarves were a dying race, just as the elves. Man was the only one who survived. We need to fix the water system here. Okay, that's done. Be happy for me. How much money do you make? Technically nothing. So you're not going to be much of an asset. Uh, let it go. Why are you still trying to fabricate claims? Start. Working on Lord Sauron. You bitch. There we go. That's the only thing that matters if you do that. Um, right, immediately a great success story there. Um, uh, let's see, yeah, let's time to do work around that. We're doing great. Um, or we're gonna up all the guard barracks to three. I'm getting ill again. Um, this will not add much. This is a total of. Oh wait, I need to look at the right thing. Six, seven hundred. For thirty percent increase levy. No, 20%. Actually, I think that's kind of worth it. This is going to take a long time anyway, so in the meantime, we will probably most likely upgrade our guard barracks everywhere. Except for here, because that will be... Oh god, this is expensive. Oh, that adds a lot of fucking troops. A fucking lot of troops. Let's see, this costs me about a thousand. It ups my levy. By another thirty percent, which means it's currently two thousand. So that's going great. So the two thousand levy with another thirty percent, another six hundred. Ah, well, that's actually it's quite a lot of fucking dwarves. How are we in strength size? We I think we once again achieved the point that we started snowballing quite severely. We're one k, forty four percent of ninety two. We are getting there, actually. Slowly but surely, we are attaining the strengths we need. I don't think I can do it this week. But I'm, I'm quite sure that we will achieve this if in next week. Wow, we are doing really well, actually, improving our intrigue. Last years of our life, we're never going to become king. We're never going to become... So what if we, we get some influence? Well, let's see, how is my heir doing? He is doing good in stats, only the main thing is bothering me. You know what the problem is? I'm so afraid that we're gonna get a lot of short reigns. Short reigns. See, um, I gonna die in a. I can die every moment, so he's gonna reign for about 20 years. He's gonna reign for about another uh, 20 years. Then you are going to reign for about 20 years. And then you are of the wrong house. You are my heir. But you are leeched wrong. I think... Wait, what? Why the hell were you not able to be married off? But... I can marry a random dwarf within my... What the? Okay, I'm now seriously confused. She can not have any children anymore? No. Well, we... We married her off in her own... Right. He is still what the confused, 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 highly seriously confused. Okay, that's fixed. You're regenerating your troops. <laughs> this is gonna be take forever. Anyhow, but a cookie looks suspicious. 
a little bit more intrigue and stuff. Intrigue and stuff. Okay. Um, we've got barracks done here. Let's get the guard barracks here. And guard barracks here. So yes, I think the only thing we can do now is either declare war on Arnor, which I'm running to the realm size limit. I can only have another two more provinces under me, so that's not going to be a happening. We can we could murder Gondor. No, get get rid of him. Well, the Numenorians weren't getting that old actually. <laughs> I was expecting about 200, twice the age of a man, but not. Slightly plus 10 health is less than a dwarf. But you've got an heir of Isildur, which has another 7. Eh, that makes you slightly more capable as a dwarf. And you're strong, which adds another. Yeah, that makes you about a quarter more, I think, as compared to a dwarf. Hmm. Anyway, anyway, we should prepare for Lord Domosi the Third to keel over at any moment. You're married. I cannot name your sons, however. Um, we should marry you. Well, you are married. Good. Um, how are you doing? You're ten years old. We should. We might need to actually. Ah. Range patrol. Are there any? Nope. Not anything suitable right now. Ah, damn it. Well, we'll need, need to keep an eye on that. I'm sorry for completely knocking into my microphone all the freaking time. More elite barracks. How are we here? This will be done in. Let's see. Finished in. Six months. Well, I'm saying that wrong. Three, five months. I spent a little bit of money. We are. We're doing good. I'm, I'm quite happy with the results. Quite happy. We were six thousand, I believe, when we started. Well, we just we went past him actually. He's got 2,000, we've got... So, I'm not... Just, I'm not feeling confident just yet. But we will most definitely... Um, depose of our liege, which um, makes... Um, us the king. It is gonna be great. We could technically actually do an independence war, but yeah, I want I want this territory. Then I'll do an independence war. If I gain um, that, which I uh, if I gain kingdom, this then these guys are on the other side of the fucking planet cannot do shit to me. Speaking of doing shit, I'm. <laughs> completely random segue here. Gonna end the video here. I um, wanna thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Have a very good day. Bye bye.